Hello, Eurists. This is Expedition Leader Blitz taking control of the dwarves yet again for another episode of Dwarf Fortress. So I want to show you guys a little bit what I've done off of Z camera. Uh, I better click on the right screen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, where, where am I? Okay, I'm down here. All right, so what has been going on? Well, first of all, you may see right here, uh, right in the middle of the screen, I have designated this to go down to dig down. It goes down 25 layers down to the cavern level, or what I hope to be the cavern level. Hopefully 25 levels is far enough. I did forget one thing, though, and I wanted to take you guys with that. Uh, I just marked it out, and we'll get to that other stuff here in a little bit. Up down the stairway, um, we'll go over here, and what we're going to do is a 3x3, three three, just in case, because they can get to the bottom, and occasionally they'll just fall in, which is kind of dumb. But uh, it happens. They just like all of a sudden drip, dropped in the hole, fell in the hole. And uh, then they die in the cavern because they can't get out. Um, that's not good news. So hopefully we can avoid that. Uh, we have that first off. Uh, secondly, I have a lot of digging going on here. I don't know at what point I stopped last episode. I recorded for maybe another 20 minutes afterwards and I realized... Nothing exciting had happened, so I didn't want to continue. Uh, I have made up here, you can probably see these. These are Mason's Workshops, Craft Store Workshop, um, another Mason Workshop here. Rock Doors I'm making. This guy, another one. I want to do Rock Blocks, and he'll do that. And then the Craft Store Workshop, I'll get to that in a second. And then the Carpenter will be being made here in a second. We're going to make a bunch more beds with that, hopefully. Um, things down here, uh, well, let's actually take a look directly below. So what is this? I want you guys to imagine something. This is five, one, two, three, four, five, six levels deep. And there's more stuff I don't want to show you quite yet. Um, that is right. I want this main courtyard to be six levels tall. I think that would be awesome to have that. So that's why the length of this bridge is the way it is. Um, I want this to come down, so six levels, this will be a ramp down, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, at this point right in here somewhere is where actually, no, what I'm going to do is, this is going to ramp down, sorry, I messed that up, so from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, at this point, everything below this point will be a ramp going down, if you think of it, um, uh, it's going to start at the top. This is like a side view. It's going to start at the top and it's going to ramp down, down to this level down here. Uh, and then this level will be the bottom, the actual floor of our ma major room here. I, I, the only reason I put this in right now, sorry I stutter, uh, is that I wanted to make sure I've got it in the right spot so I can designate more stuff down here. Uh, this is going to be the f the next of the um, crafting workshops I'm going to do. This is going to be like an ashery. We're going to have ash right in here, uh, like a wood furnace or a, a furnace to make our coke. The coke will make coke from the ash. And we'll put the coke from the ash into... Um, we'll make coke from the, the coal around, and then we can make iron and stuff eventually. Now, iron... And basically it's our metal working and our soap making, but that's going to be a little bit different. Uh, back here, this area, this is actually the back of the map right here. I didn't want to open this up because bad things can come in through the back of the map. This is going to be our artifact room. This is going to be like the sweet room of the entire base. Everything in here will be the junk that we can't use. Um, sometimes we'll make like a single artifact earring or a ring, or a crown, just junk that we cannot actually put on any of our doors. We can't use it, we can't put it in any halls, we can't do anything. Uh, artifacts, I did have one, this is the reason why I have uh, this craft store workshop, craft dork workshop, yeah. Um, anyway, it is this. Uh, you can see up here, the al uh, Bolt. A soul, bolt soul, a yak bone floodgate. A floodgate made out of yak bones. Uh, the description, get this guy. Some of you veteran Dwarf Fortress players will love this. Bam. Yak bone floodgate. All craftsmanship. Crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with yak bone. Encircled with bands of yak bone. I got like one of the worst items. 
the worst working items, followed by the dumbest of the dumb descriptions. I mean, this is this is like terrible. Anyway, uh, something else interesting happening. Others, we have merchants. Uh, these are wow, wow, water buffaloes are now wild. Um, we have the merchants coming in, and they are the d dwarf merchants, I think. Uh, we'll have to go check on that. They're right up top here. Look at this. This is all the guys we have. There's all the pets that we have going on. Stray puppies and lambs. We need to go down. We still have that sow, that pet sow. We need to go down in here. That is going to be my first priority. Hopefully they will do that first rather than going down and digging down below this thing here. Um, so what we're going to do is let it roll. Let it roll. And I have three more idlers. Um, where are the the guys so they're actually hauling things back in we're clearing this stuff up I really wish that this stuff the food stockpile here would be brought down below I should remove these buildings that's why I wanted to do it uh, we're just gonna remove these and that's X to remove on these for you guys who are needing to look and they'll, they'll remove those and hopefully bring that stuff downstairs we still have our doggies at the surface and they look like they're actually fighting this one is wounded um uh, i wanted r r's reports water buffalo bulls fighting goblin thief is fighting the hunter armor we need to get that guy inside too minka we do not want him out and uh this was something interesting here too uh we had a little bit of uh, a little problem happening we killed a guy just to watch him die Oh, we are out of food barrels too, so we need to get that uh, carpenter shop back here, up in building. There we go, for barrels. Oh, barrels. I don't want too many barrels, uh, because they're kind of expensive relatively. Where are these guys at? Wow. Hello. I'm gonna zoom. Okay, they're still coming. I was wondering where they were. Um, they're kind of they're not expensive, so to speak, but they're... You can't trade anything in wood to the elves, which is really not that big of a deal, because they're stinking elves, but I digress. All right, we're done with that one. Did I remove these already? Yeah, these are already removed. Forgot the tanner, tanner shop. I think I'm having problems with the, the things that are being hunted. They're trying to bring in the things that are being hunted into way down in here. And they're actually dying. So that's not a good deal. And I have placed in doors into these places as well. And I did place our singular nest box in here. So if I do B, N for nest box. Nope. B, nest box. Nest box. And capital N. That's what it does. We still have in a couple additional nest boxes. Good place. I wanted to th like three in here. And actually let's uh, B, D for a door. And we'll place another door right here. And now, ooh, we have more doors. Awesome. Now we can put more in here. In our hydroponics rooms. Okay. Um, yeah. I want to get some of these mixed up like this one. Oh, there's a building present there. Um, the dwarves don't like smelling the flies, as I've said before, and we can put one, I think there is one right here, yes there is, place one right here. That should be all of our doors right now, and hopefully the people show up very soon. How much, okay, looks like this guy was going to drink or something. Oh, he's going to cut, okay. That dog is messed up. Combat Miscellaneous General, I think it is. Nope. Uh, is he combat? Oh, okay, I see. M for Miss. Okay, whatever. I think that dog's got got some problems going on in his heart. Uh, I am dropped down on frames per second here. I'm actually rendering a banished video as we speak right now. I hope that's not going to be an issue. I really don't. All right, there we go. Merchants have arrived. Uh, queue on the trade depot, and we're gonna send move goods. I don't know if I actually have anything. Bunch of crutches, uh, backpacks, quivers, bags, thread, ropes, yarn, cages. I don't want to get rid of any cages. We'll get rid of the steel flute. I think there is a bug 
in the game. Uh, shield, we can get rid of some of those. I want to melt those down though. There's a bug in the game if you put things like chests into a furnace to melt it, it uses a coal and never works. Headgears, bricks, blocks, clay, glass, cut gems, cut gems. I want to keep those just in case. I don't have much of that. Ooh, my stomach's growling. I should go eat some pop tarts. All right, anvils. Oof. I want to keep those. Training sword. We can get rid of that. Not really necessary. These are good to melt down, especially since I won't have any copper. Drinks. We can get rid of some drinks. We can get rid of some seeds. Oh man, we're in trouble. We don't have anything really to trade. We could trade them rocks. Steel gauntlet. Shoot. Let's. Ah, great. I need. I need stuff. Where are the powders? I could get rid of this. Oh, that's sand. Uh, I have a lovebird. I could get rid of that. That's a pet. It's not anything. Oh, here we go. We can get rid of this crap too. Oh, we keep the milk. Actually, turn that on. Bumblebee venom. We don't need that. Get rid of the hyena blood. Uh, this is from that first thing that we stole, the first trading thing we stole. We we didn't steal it, we borrowed it. We're giving it back to him now. Legwear, footwear, socks, boots, uh, headwear, stone blocks, clay, clear glass, want to keep the glass, metal bars. I am really, really low on anything. Cages. I can't get rid of some cages, but I don't want to. Buckets. I want to keep a bucket instrument. We're already sending that. Man, we don't have anything. This is like a wake-up call to me on, on things we actually need. There should be a crafts. Maybe they don't show it if we don't have any of it. That might be the case. Uh, I don't want to send them any uncrat, uncut gems, leather. Do, do, do. We could do leather. Training weapons, get rid of that. Could get rid of these two. Copper, we have plenty of iron. Nah. Drinks. Okay, we're gonna have to go with that. Hopefully there's nothing we really need. Uh, the only thing I really would like is maybe some pets. And actually we look in here, what do they have? A cavisau, duck, gander, guinea, a llama. I don't really have anything. A peahen. Yeah, they don't have much anyway. They have a hammer dwarf. Water buffalo bull. Okay. The biggest problem that we could face right now is somebody actually coming in, like raiders, raiders of the Lost Ark. They could come in and try to attack us and kill us. Uh, I wanted to check out here how the digging process is going. They're worming their way around like little worms very nicely. And I wanted to check this other one too. Has anything been started here? It has not. Blue Garnet. Yeah, check it out. So this dude's carrying up the thing again because of the refuse pile outside. Um, let's remove this. DX, remove designation, right? No, that's P. P, remove designation through here. It might have worked. This is a refuse pile. Get rid of that. See what happens. And we'll bring all the junk down inside anyway. Put all the junk down into the trunk. Down here. Nope, it's one down. Yeah, bringing the water buffalo down. It's all in here. They'll be placing the junk in these areas. Refuse stockpile. We're still doing good on the uh, growing. All of the stuff here is doing well. Oh, I forgot to request trader up here. Trader requested hit R to do that. I'm very concerned. Uh, also, I did, I told this guy to milk creature and make cheese so um, they're gonna be making the cheese after milking the creature so the lambs I think that's what he was doing in here hauling there was some dude hauling a sheep around yeah right here see the guy hauling the sheep he's gonna go milk that sheep hopefully I am I'm hoping this goes a lot faster like it's a long walk to it but pretty soon we're not going to have anyone outside um i'm hoping 
Let's draw a cat's eye. Can I trade now? No. Okay. Neat. We still, uh, I was going to point at my screen. No idlers to two idlers. That's good news for us. Very cool to be able to, to keep a, a good grouping of dwarves all working together like this and uh, doing what they need to do. These are going to be, like this one's going to be for wood right here. This will be raw wood and the next one will be ash. Oh, nothing to catch. So we have a fisherman. Why do we have a fisherman? I paused it. No, I didn't. I need to pause it. Uh... That usually means there's fishermen turned on. There is a fisherman turned on, but I don't have any fishing stuff activated. I don't know why that would have been the case. I don't have any fishing, like, butcher stations. Go off. That's better. Okay, let's uh, redo that. Commit. We don't need any fishermen. Not when there's no fish to be caught. Actually, they might have caught stuff. 63 in two dwarves. Children, that's awesome. Not many. We still don't have any idlers, so it's good news too. Let's go back up to the top. And one more. And let's see. Down one. Where is it? Right here. Okay, let's see if we can trade now. Yeah, no. Shoot. Is this one not going either? So I have to remove a mechanic. I don't think we have a mechanic activated right now. Here we go. Mining into here. This is taking a little bit longer. I think this is marble. A granite wall. So this is like a very, very hard rock for those of you who knew no gravel. Or <laughs> gravel, yes. Gravel is a very hard rock. Granite is a very hard rock. So they will be digging this out slower and slower, but they do get a lot of experience for doing it. And experience means a lot to these guys. Uh, something else I wanted to do. I, I did queue up these two. Uh, these are going to be making nothing and doors. <laughs> Whoops. Wooden barrel. I don't have a stockpile, so the barrels would be going somewhere else. I wanted to add, like, blocks here. But uh, let's do... Are, are there beds? Are there... I don't think there are. Of course, slab, table... We should make more tables, too. Let's do it. We're going to make tables. We're going to do that. We're going to make more... We should start some cabinets. Add tasks. Make some thrones. Okay, so they're going to do those three. And those are good for bedrooms. And we're going to do doors specifically in that one. Let's check over here real fast and quick and in a hurry what we actually have for masons. Mason, mason, mason. We have three, four, five going, so that should be plenty. Carpenters, do we have any of those? One, yeah, we have plenty. And what's the other one I wanted to look at? Come on, come on, think blitz. Carp carpenter, mechanic. Mechanic is over here. Yes, we have one mechanic active. And I don't want him to do any of this. Uh, he can item haul. Get rid of these. Okay, we're going to commit that. So our mechanic will now delete the outside thing over here. This job right here in the mechanics workshop. <laughs> Their water buffaloes are so heavy to walk with. Basically, the only reason I'm hunting right now is for the experience. Uh, the guys get experience in Marksdorf, which is awesome for them to do. I did block this off. I don't want them in here digging quite yet. So I blocked that off for future. Um, you can see here it's not blocked, but it is. Oh, it is on this one. Hey, I went down too far. Whoops. Good thing I didn't hit anything bad. As soon as that goes... Oh, let's go check the trade depot. La 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 la. There you is. Hello? Hello, please? There you is. Trade depot. Oh, come on. Okay, the guy is going to the trade depot right now. Resume. Hopefully. I just want to see if there's anything here. If not, we might get off some wood. Let's check. What are these guys? Oh, go away. You are... Can I hit T? T? V? V. Okay. Mace dwarf. So this is... These are the dwarves. 
Uh, merchant, maybe not. G. Let's check. Be a creature. Sturdy creature, fond of drinking industry. Okay, so he is a dwarf. I'm pretty sure he is. Okay. Dwarves are fine. They they usually are friendly toward, towards us. Check out this. They're bringing stuff down inside. They're actually hauling this refuse. Uh, let's stop that. Orders. Orders. Uh, we're going to gather refuse. And we're not going to do it from outside. So R and then O. We're going to ignore refuse from outside. Okay. That's good. So this stuff will stay out here. Instead of being brought down into the refuse pile that have miasma spreading in them right now. Isn't that awesome? Hey, story dog gave birth to a puppy. Puppy, puppy. Trade. Drinking. Now, now you have to take a drink. That That's one of the frustrating things with brokers. Right away, our broker decided to come here. Uh-oh. Winter has arrived on the calendar. All right, winter has finally cleared, or the saving has finally cleared. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Oh, the, yeah, the annoying thing here. The broker, we've told him to go the whole time. We're going to switch this only to, uh, excuse me, to anyone can trade here. And uh, hopefully you can see that I hit B to get anyone can trade. And that is going to tell the next closest idle person to come up here and trade. Hopefully we can get someone in here to trade before they go away. And maybe it'll be Logim, the hauler peasant who has decided to scorn us by uh, doing whatever they do. Come on. Really want someone to trade. Oh, here comes the sheep back up. <laughs> the sheep came back up after it got milked and now it's going to go in there. Uh, we need to get down into the caverns so we can get that cleared up too. Let's go check. No, I don't want to check yet. I want to get this going. No! Come on. Trader requested. Okay. Good. Good. Move goods. We moved everything. We're not going to get much anyway. We should maybe get, I don't know, some metals like gold if they have any. Gold is going to be hard for us to get and gold raises the the cost of our fortress up quite high. Oh, this is annoying. There's, There comes someone right here. Right here. You going for it? No. Hello. <laughs> Hello, please. Oh, the guy's still drinking. Amazing. They can get, I mean, the dwarves, they can hold quite a bit of booze. How much booze do we have? We have 300, that's a good amount. Food stores, 1,000, that's awesome. We should get some nobles up and running too, but I don't have the the bedding yet, the noble rooms for them. We can do that pretty quick and easily. Uh, that's one of the reasons I made the cabinets. I want to start doing bigger bedrooms. Uh, eight idlers right now. Eleven idlers. Nine idlers. Um, I should give, give to work pile. Okay, going down, that's this one. We want to give to that one. And let's check, So we have so many idlers right now. We have work to be done. Okay, this isn't done the other way yet. Shoot. And then they forget. Doors forget what they're doing sometimes. Decide to take a nap and then fire the missiles. Okay, anyone here? No, on break. <laughs> you take a drink and you go on break. That means that uh, taking a drink is work. Oh, someone's coming in. Someone's come in. Check it out. This dude. This dude needs a raise right there. Who are you? Kib, the stone worker. He's like, dude, let's trade. We got some cool stuff. Oh, that stone flute's worth quite a bit. Uh, they don't have much. Gross. Get rid of the blood barrels, that's fine. Clay, fire, sand, silk, spider, something or another. Two humped camel. What are you? View good is V. Two humped camel leather water skin. Wow. 
but it's a high rating. You can see this. I forget what that is. It might be masterwork or something. Uh, steel harp, crossbow, piccolo, flute. Uh, here we go. Here comes the fun stuff. So the blue pea hen is, yeah, we might as well buy all of this. Cavi sow. Cavi sows are grazers. Ganders are not. Hens are not. Guinea cocks is like a guinea hen, except a male one. Uh, gander is a duck. Goose, we don't care about that because that's going to be expensive. We'll buy it anyway. Cat cage, no thank you. Tin cage, yeah, maybe. Acacia barrel, this is the fun stuff. This is the, the free blues. Let's see if we can get any seeds. Uh, Ichthyr barrel, buckets. That's all easy stuff to make. Steel war hammer, it's not a masterwork one. Wow, it's still expensive though. Copper pick. Spear. Here's a copper pick. That'd be cheap. Training axe. <laughs> Training axe. Naked mole dog leather something. Bronze hide. Okay. This is a whole bunch. The the dwarves like to bring... Look at that iron shield. That's expensive. Uh, the dwarves like to bring a lot of, of high-end stuff. So let's see what we can do. Ted training sword is 117, huh? Okay, we're going to have to remove some of the stuff that we decided we we wanted maybe wow that steel mace I need to start producing stuff like that reindeer blood barrel okay you I don't ow is there anything in here I can hit V it is just a tin cage description tin cage is there any contents dump hide no we're not we're gonna get rid of that trader profit let's remove some of this stuff because we are getting a decent deal the zinc cage might have something in it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, I want to get rid of these. So we're just going to trade the flute. One steel flute for a couple animals. Mark for trade. And let's hit T for trade. They're going to get a little profit. Whatever. That's going to be fine. We'll let them do it. That was very unproductive. Um, kind of wanted more than that, but... Whatever. Uh, what's this? This is so annoying now, too, because I have to let them continue digging this out. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. I was going to build... I have to let those guys continue digging, uh, because if they don't do this, I, I'm not going to be able to get that pattern all the way. So I'll probably do that off camera, and if anything interesting happens, I will do that now. Uh, what I did want to do, look at these guys eating, I wanted to build that floodgate in here. Uh, these guys are a little bit unhappy. If I go to Dwarf Therapist and read the doors, see they're just they're just content. Uh, some are happy, some are content. Nothing really, ooh, so these guys are really happy because they're eating right now. Hunger lately, miasma lately, slept without a room lately. Yeah, I know that. I need to change these two rooms, but uh, I can put the artifact floodgate in here, and that is floodgate X, and I can place it somewhere that they're going to walk around constantly, and they're going to get great happy thoughts by like, hey, look, we're happy, we have a floodgate, um, and it's in their dining hall, so they don't even care. What I did want to do as well is do, uh, I wanted to designate the smoothing of stone around here. What this will do is it'll make the stone essentially a wall, like a stone area, and then we can engrave it. And I wanted to do the same in this room. And I was actually kind of wanting to do it all through here, but those are the two we're going to do right now. And I do want to make sure that we have stone in detailers. We have three, four of them. So that should be perfect. These guys will get to work doing that. We're going to resume doing that. Actually, let's do one more check. Yes, it is designated to do that, too. Uh, the Miasma are in these rooms. That is fine. That's where I want to hold it. I could, if I really wanted to, open it up to the surface and make it uh, like these. The greenhouse area, It doesn't uh, Miasma doesn't spread if it's on the surface. That, to me, is a little bit of cheating. And it also doesn't go up a Z level. So that's something we might do in the future, is actually drop it down. We can't. Uh, we'll make a different room and drop it down. So that'd be fine. Oh, we might actually get the water buffalo here to cook up. 
Um, and let's do this. Uh, zone. No. I for zone. Right? I. That makes perfect sense. We're going to go over here. And we're going to go down like so. And we're going to move some turkeys into the zone. And it's going to be an N for animal zone. Capital N for pasture information. And then let's put some... A duck and a goose. Gander. We need to kill that llama. There's a... A gander and a gander. That's not going to work. Two ganders don't make un-ganders. And water buffalo, duckling, peregrine falcon. I still have that falcon. That's awesome. Hey, look. It's a worm. Uh, bunny, lamb, kitten. Come on. Where, where are they? Turkey hen. Okay. Let's do a turkey hen, turkey gobbler. Three, four... Five, six. Okay, that's going to be where those turkeys go. Turkey. You're a turkey. You felt the animal. Okay, and now let's hit Z menu, go to the kitchen. No animals. And now we're going to go to the bottom. That tame is being traded. Puppy, gander, duck. You are going to get the butchering of your lifetime. Um, Peahen. We could actually get rid of all of these, but I don't want to right now. Horseful. We're going to get rid of you. Puppy and you. This guy's... This guy's got the U is a pet. That's awesome. And here is the training for all of the animals, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll go into that deeper when we start training things. Duckling, alpaca. We want to get rid of the alpaca. Water buffalo calf, I don't care about. Basically, anything that is not a grazer, I want to kill. Not kill. Right? I'm not killing them. I'm just having... The lack of life with them. So guys, I'm going to leave it with that for right now. I'm going to leave it running as these guys continue digging things out. If anything else happens, I will let you know in the next episode. So guys, always remember, keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you next time.